So I'm going to share with you some of the biggest pitfalls that have caused major problems for final expense insurance agents and have actually taken them out of the business. I want to really help you understand these things before you take the plunge and maybe dive into these waters. It's a fun business. Don't get me wrong, but it is not the get rich quick scheme that maybe you think it is. Can you make six figures? Yes. Can you make seven figures? Of course. But is it guaranteed? Of course not. It comes at a cost. It's a risk. 90% of the agents fail, and they fail to find this out in the beginning. So let's dive in. I hope you enjoy this content today. Thanks for joining with me. So first off, the biggest thing when you're diving into this industry is you cannot look at it like an easy business. Simple it is, easy it is absolutely not. All right? So you got to understand that in the very beginning if you want to make the box. If not, you're going to think it's easy, and then you're going to find out the truth is it looks like a lot of rejection, and then you're not going to have a chance. So number two, you've got to not take shortcuts. Shortcuts are a fast way to fail in the space. A lot of folks think it's a number one get-rich-quick scheme, so they don't put everything that they have into it. They take a shortcut in their script. They take a shortcut in their presentation, and then they wonder why they're not making the paper. There's no guarantee of you making the paper. You've got to be consistent, and you've got to really stick to a good script. But if you take a shortcut, it's just like walking in the woods. If you're walking in the woods and you've ever gone on a hike where you've got these switchbacks back and forth and back and forth, and then there's a switchback, you're like, you know what? I can just go right through this way and maybe I'll beat everybody else. Well, a lot of people get lost when they take a shortcut. In this industry, it's a time-tested and an absolutely amazing noble profession. Overthinking a simple business is a fast way to get hurt. So stay on path. That's why you stay with a process. You stay with a script so that you don't get lost. It gets scary in this business when you don't know where you are. Scary when you're in a script, you don't know what to say. Scary in a presentation when you don't know your place. You start skipping beats. This beats up a lot of insurance agents. So number two, don't take a shortcut. Number three is maybe you failed to see enough people to sell. It's a numbers game. Really always has been. You've got to have enough people to give a pitch to, whether it's over the phone or in the telespace. You're never going to be able to be an amazing player if you don't have enough balls thrown at you. You got to get behind the plate, but if you stand behind the plate and you're really ready, but you don't have leads coming at you, you don't have lots of conversations, you won't have even a chance for conversions. The insurance industry is a numbers game. If you don't have the numbers coming at you, you probably will fail and not make it. It's important that you have a lot of leads, a lot of balls, in essence, thrown at you. So you've got a chance of being a beast. No guarantees of success comes at a risk, right? But you can realize great reward. There's no glass ceiling above you. You're going to get paid what you're worth. And that's a tough pill to swallow some days because some days were truly overpaid. And then some days were absolutely underpaid as well. So part of the business beats up a lot of agents. It's tough to have a day where you feel like you got your licks, and then the next day you feel like you're on top of the world. It's that kind of hero to zero effect that takes out agents too because it's a mind play. It really is. So you've got to see enough people if you want a chance of selling. All right. Number four is you've got to have leads. Leads are the lifeblood of the industry. Leads come at a cost. You've got to constantly be buying leads, and if you're an insurance agent that only buys maybe one batch of leads a month, you're going to probably get sick of the industry and fail out. No different than if you're trying to drink water, you want a constant flow coming in so it keeps things fresh. With insurance sales, you need a constant flow of leads coming in. If not, you get stagnant, you get stale, and then you say the leads don't work. You've got to have this constant flow of leads if you want a chance of finding success. You can find success. It could happen, but it's not guaranteed. So you've got to understand, you've got to get up every morning with a powerful and positive mental mindset, but you've got to have enough leads so that you've got enough to launch on every day. The next tip I want to share with you is time. Time makes you or breaks you. A lot of people come from the W-2 work ethic, and they're great employees, but they're maybe horrible 1099s because they don't know how to take just a 10-minute smoke break. They don't know how to take just a 30-minute lunch. What happens is they leave for a 30-minute smoke break and then go, you know what? I'm going to go for a walk. And then that walk turns into, I'm just going to go to the store. And then, you know what? Let's go hang out with a buddy and go have a coffee. And then they cut corners and wonder why they don't capitalize. The business looks like a lot of discipline. You've got to be disciplined. If you're a W-2 where you're a great employee, but maybe a horrible boss, you can't boss yourself around, you're going to realize that if you want to succeed in this industry, you've got to have this tremendous strong drive. You've got to have a 1099 mind and grind. You've got to be your own worst boss to you 
<laughs> and it's tough to swallow some days, tough to stay in your lane, just calling and calling and calling, stay in your lane with face-to-face -face insurance sales where you're knocking the doors and seeing the people. You're like, you know what? I want to just go home a little, little early. A little early can take away a lot of your chance of finding success. You've got to dig in deep, my friends, and you've got to really focus on your time. Proper use of time will make you or maybe break you. And some days you put in the time and it just doesn't show <laughs> at the end of the day. You may have a week where maybe you get one sale and you wish you would have had five or 10. That can take you out because the mental head game can cause your methods to follow. You got to keep your head right if you want to have a chance of having success. Success is amazing. This is a tremendous opportunity, but it comes, like I said, with tremendous risk. Great reward always comes at a cost. So you've got to use your time well and use it wisely if you want to have a chance of making the wealth. The next tip I want to share with you is reinventing the wheel. This is a real problem. A lot of folks get creative. They think that if they design the best email campaign, the best text campaign, they won't have to take as much time and dial and, and communicate. I'm not saying you won't get some low-hanging fruit. You will get some people that will buy from you, for sure, utilizing those methods, but you're only getting the low-hanging fruit. If you want to see the best chance of success, you've got to shake the tree. It's all about shaking and hustling and going. And if you're a final expense telesales agent, that means just mind-numbingly some days calling and calling and calling and then bringing value to these very consumers. If you're letting the technology do the work for you, yes, it does work sometimes, but you won't realize the success that you could have if you would just see enough people, dial enough numbers, that's the best chance for you really winning. The top producers, they take every little moment, every little piece of time, and they use it as the precious gift that it is. They don't procrastinate. They don't put off tomorrow what they should have done today. You want to go out of this business fast? Go ahead and procrastinate. Don't treat it like a job. This is a career choice. This is a business. The next tip I want to share with you, you've got to treat this business like it is because it is one. This business is not about easy bucks. It's the best pay and hard work you've ever hustled for in your life, but you're going to be handling and caring for some just amazing people. Final expense folks are just, they're phenomenal, but they also know how to procrastinate, like maybe you've never seen in your life. If you sell uh, the way that you want to be sold to, you probably won't see a lot of success because maybe you, when you say, hey, I'll call you tomorrow, you're honest and open about it. A final expense telesales client, they may say, I'll call you tomorrow, but a lot of times tomorrow never comes. They maybe block your number or they ghost you. Um, this will happen. Sometimes you think final expense clientele based, they're amazing folks, but maybe they don't operate the same way that you do. That's okay. We take care of them with crazy professionalism. But if you put off till tomorrow and don't have high end closing tactics or closing techniques, and I don't mean high pressure techniques, but high skill set to be able to help these great folks, you're going to feel like, man, I paid how much for these leads? Did I get hustled here? That's just no good. And a lot of people handle final expense leads in a different way. And then they just get really fed up because they don't know how to find success when someone says, I'll call you tomorrow. They don't know how to rebuttal that. And then they get beat up with their leads. So the business looks like hard work. It looks like not reinventing the wheel. That's why mentorship is so important to you having the best chance of finding success. Vet your trainer, vet your mentor, vet your agency. If you're looking at final expense telesales, ask your mentor or your trainer, how many years have you done this? Our agency here at jasonfinalexpense.com, we've got a five-day telemastery program. We practice, we drill, we rehearse. Looks like a lot of real work, but I've been in this business doing insurance combined with my telesales background. We're talking two plus decades, 20 plus years. We really focus on training. You want to make sure that your trainer has truly done the business before the C word, has truly found success so that they can hopefully make a way for you. But success is never guaranteed. It looks like getting up early. It looks like working hard. It looks like hearing a lot of no's and rejection is a real problem that causes a lot of insurance agents to fail and you got to find the time to dig deep you're not going to get micromanaged in this business you got to be about your business because nobody should care about your business more than you i hope you found this helpful today if you need any resources you can reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com appreciate you joining with me today if you've got a topic you want me to take it up for you leave it in the comments below and i'll help you i hope you have a great weekend have a powerful day tomorrow and if you think you've got what it takes this may be the industry for you we'll see you soon